Hey, Kelly Ritchie here. This series is going to deal with bad habits that self-taught guitar players tend to pick up. There's a ton of free guitar instruction out there, and it's easy to think, well, you know, why pick lessons when I can just have somebody show me how to do it? Here's the main problem you're going to run into. You need some oversight. You need somebody looking at what you're doing and seeing if you're developing, you know, good habits. So this is lesson number one um, on, you know, bad habits that probably will need to be corrected. The way someone holds their pick and the connection that they build with their guitar often I find are really spotty. I hold my pick with my first finger and thumb for a reason. One, I want to have these fingers available to me, especially my middle finger and my ring. I ask students to keep their right hand open when they're learning or when they're practicing their scales and to keep their right hand in contact with the body of the guitar or with their high E string, okay? Also, rest the, the palm of your hand on your, you know, fifth and sixth strings, not just for muting purposes and not just to keep everything quiet, but to have connection as well. So I'm constantly, you know, moving between this being my connection point, this being, or this being. Okay, depending on what I'm playing. Watch my right hand. Okay, that's a big thing that impacts everything that you do on the guitar. When you don't have a teacher watching what you're doing, that's a place that you can really get in trouble fast is not having good right hand technique. With that said, we'll move on to number two.